uh, the World Cup that awaits away from the field in Japan, that Tokyo experience, the Japanese experience, it's a culture for anybody who's going over to the tournament that uh, it's going to be mind-blowing. Yeah. Well, we, we were actually, uh, are we going to go back into sport or are we going to talk about food? No, go, go to food. Go food. We, we were lucky enough to spend, we were three weeks in uh, Japan filming with MasterChef and we'd all visited separately. And we had just an amazing time. I mean, that, I mean, interestingly, we came back, we were craving fresh, crunchy, juicy vegetables because obviously in Japan, a lot of it's preserved and salty and umami, which is really interesting when you think about diet and how differently people eat. But we just had a fabulous time. Oh, Didn't ramen. Oh, All that ramen, ramen obsessed, sushi obsessed. Cheap, cheap sushi, really good, amazing cheap yeah. sushi. Yeah, I mean, we got obsessed. I mean, what we oh. realized, can I tell that funny story about we, there was a friend of yours who has lived in Japan for about 13 years, and he was lovely, picked us up, took us to a market, took us to, you know, some famous food halls and stalls and showed us the best wagyu and uh, talked about fish cutters, which in my experience, I'd always thought about great sushi, but never, never followed one man around town, for example, who was a great fish cutter who you would lock onto and stay with for 20 years for example and he was very uh, sensitive to Japanese culture and he took us out and I think the first because we said to him we were finding it really difficult to get into uh, bars and small restaurants and things like that and he took us out and I think he took us to a little bakery and after we'd been in that bakery was it a bakery or cheese shop I can't remember he said I realize why you can't get in anywhere and he said you basically offended everyone in the shop um, and you probably contradicted probably five or ten sacred, you know, um, what would you call them? Cultural rights. Cultural, yeah. Uh, I think what had happened is, for example, when you walk in, show a little respect to the storekeepers. If you'd like to pick something up, uh, maybe look at them, look for an approval where you could pick that item up, pick it up, look at it respectfully, put it back down, thank them. Um, order one thing at a time. Mm. Um, m m money should yeah, be Money should be flat. presented flat, clean money, um, and then received in don't such a way. Talk, don't talk loudly. Don't talk loudly. Don't do yeah. anything loudly. So, okay. Don't, don't get big. excited. <laughs> don't get excited. Don't wear so. perfume. Uh, quite frankly, what's going to happen when all, the, all these barbarians from Ireland, Wales, England, it's South Africa, Africa, New Zealand, Australia descend on Japan, yeah. it's going to blow their minds because yeah. they're going to be going, Wah! Yeah, because yeah. we, we were in that shop and there was four of us oh. all in different directions. I'm picking up going, look at this, Matt, this looks great. Matt's going, yeah, bring one of those. George is going, can I order one of those and three of those and can I get five of those? And then we were giving them money out of our pockets, you know, in loose change and then saying, no, keep the change and walk and shouting. We walked out and they were, he said, they have just breathed a collective sigh of relief as you all walked out the shop. Oh, and we were eating in the shop before. Oh, you're not allowed to eat before you before buy it. Before we paid for it. <laughs> Gary, Matt and George's A Cultural Guide to Japan in bookstores just before Christmas. <laughs> I don't think